Inside Mixed Institute of Cosmetology, this is the classroom for aspiring barbers and hairstylists. I've been doing hair my whole life. I do braids. I love dyeing. Dear Shepard is among those learning the trade, a cosmetologist throwing her support behind Senate Bill 188. It's very important, especially for our black women and black men. For us to embrace our hair is very important. State law currently provides equal rights and opportunities for all people based on a number of specified characteristics, including race. But this bill takes it a step further by including traits historically associated with race, like hair texture. We've heard far too many stories of young people being sent home from school because their hair was deemed unruly or a distraction to others, or employees who were not hired, who were asked to change their hair in order to maintain their employment, or didn't receive promotions. Los Angeles Area Senator Holly Mitchell, who wears her own hair naturally, authored this bill. We've said that the time has come to judge me based on my capacity to do the work, not how I choose to wear my hair. The bill's unanimous support in the Senate, applauded by barber Daryl Coylton Jr., who's felt the pressure to change his appearance while hunting for a job. I would have to maybe like cut it or uh, maybe clean it up, you know what I'm saying? Um, so that's probably why for the longest time I had short hair. And for many, there's purpose in the style to protect hair as it grows, something Dierre is doing now. I'm going through the process. That's why I actually have my hair in braids right now. Um, I cut it, I put it up take it out, cut it again, put it up just to go through the growing process that it needs to go through. Senate Bill 188 now on its way to the Assembly to potentially broaden protections for Californians.